This is the best sanding system I have ever used. Let me tell you why. A while back, John Steen from Steen Woodwork posted this video to Instagram. It was the Mercaderos removing a ridiculous amount of material on a rough sawn surface incredibly fast. It boggled my mind. So immediately I reached out to Merca directly and asked them to let me try one out. They said yes. And not only did they send me the sander, but they sent me their brand new 1230L dust extractor, as well as some of their Abernet paper. Right off the bat, the first thing I noticed about the Daros was the balance. It's light, but feels really, really well built. And more importantly, it's balanced to have the sander sit on the pad. Some of you longtime viewers might remember when I picked up a Festool Rotex. It doesn't get a lot of camera time because it's heavy and cumbersome to use. It's unbalanced. The next thing I noticed is Merca's dedication to the end user. Reading the instructions, a big goal they had in mind was reducing vibration to the operator and to avoid a condition called white finger that actually can do nerve damage to people who are subjected to a lot of vibration daily. Think auto body shops and high production wood studios. There are some screws that come with the Daros to counterbalance if you're using what they call a pad saver or not. Basically, a sacrificial hook and loop pad to avoid having to replace the actual pad after long-term use. This is me pushing the Daros around a workpiece with my pinky at 10,000 RPMs using 80 grit Abernet paper. Effortless. So with the ergonomics out of the way, I wanted to test user comfort and finish quality. Here I'm using the Rotex with its own Rubin paper 80 grit using the Merca extractor. Both sanders measured at the same decibel level, but the Festool set on random orbit, not Rotex, sounds crunchy and grating. It's also hard to control the sander with 80 grit. The Merca has a much more pleasant dull sound and as shown before, moves with ease. Under magnification in this walnut, you can see the irregular scratch pattern from the Rotex and evidence of swirling. On the Daros, you can see a much more uniform scratch pattern. And going back over the sample boards with 120, there are still some random scratches left from the Festool and a much more uniform surface from the Merca. Now, let's talk about the paper. This is both sanders after sanding the same board with 220 grit and each respective sander's own brand paper. You can see the deterioration and clogging with the Festool paper versus the Abernet paper, which instead of holes in the paper, it has a net to let the dust through. After sanding with 220 grit, the Festool still showed those micro swirl marks. Here I'm rubbing mineral spirits on the boards to simulate a finish being applied, then changing the light. Another feature that I like about this kit is how long the cord and hose are, and that hose and power cord to the sander are integrated. I can leave the extractor and sander plugged in under one of my benches and reach my entire assembly table, but also be able to drag it across my shop and reach other areas all without having to unplug it. it may seem like a silly point in the pro category, but it's really convenient. I know a lot of you will say that the Rotex is meant for fast stock removal and the ETS is the finished sander, but fast tool advertises the Rotex as both, and that's what I want from a sander. So after seeing that Instagram video, I wanted to see if the Daros was what I was looking for. Here I'm cleaning up a live edge for the last table I built, and here I'm cleaning up some router flattening tracks on a current table build. How's that for rapid stock removal? In fact, that same guy John Steen did a head-to-head -head test between the Merca Daros and Festool ETS and came to the same conclusion that I did, that the Merca is just a better product. Another feature of the Merca Daros is Bluetooth connectivity. As well as it being able to summon texts from my wife while trying to shoot videos, the Bluetooth app can measure vibration and how long you're being exposed to it, as well as tell you how fast you're orbiting. Probably not a feature that I will use often, but for a more industrial shop where someone might sand for eight hours a day every day, I could see this being beneficial. It would be a great way for companies or managers to monitor and collect data of the employees. The RPM readout I could see being useful for applying certain polishing compounds that have very specific application parameters. Also, the paddle switch acts as a pressure sensitive potentiometer, varying the speed on the fly. On the extractor, there are two modes. 
a general suction mode, and an auto on when the tool being used turns on. Both have adjustments for more or less suction, and on auto mode there's a nice delay to clear the hose after the tool is turned off. There's also a push and clean feature to clean the filter when you notice suction loss. I'm sure I'll learn more about this extractor after I've had it for a while, but for now, it's just a really nice unit that's not obnoxiously loud and it keeps the air in my shop clean, which is the most important part. So, another thing that I really, really like is I can almost have a conversation over the noise of the sander and extractor. Um, it's not abrasive, it's not tinny, it doesn't make my ears hurt. I don't need to wear hearing protection, although I probably should. It's just not an obnoxious noise. So, bottom line. This kit isn't cheap, but it is an investment. If you're in the market for a premium sanding and dust extraction system, this is it. This is by far the best system I have ever used. Also, I wanted Merca to help out my viewers as well, so right now, if you call or email Paul at Merca USA and mention me or this video, they'll throw in three boxes of Abernet or Iridium paper with the grits of your choice if you purchase this kit. I'll put the contact info in the video description or send me a message on Instagram. If you're interested in more tools Tool reviews like this in between build videos, let me know in the comments section. I highly encourage you to subscribe if you're not already, and as always, thanks for watching.